Hello friends, I'm sitting here in my office, it's 11.15 at night. You can see that I'm uh, I'm surely not dressed up, haven't even got some stubbles on my face, and uh, but I just thought that I wanted to talk to you for a minute about this new book, The Strangling of American Liberty. Uh, folks, I hope that you'll get this book, it's at Amazon.com, you can get it in Kindle. And you can also get it on paperback if you uh, just Google Amazon.com and then type my name in, uh, David N. Smeltz, you'll be able to, uh, to get the book. This is, a, this is a must read. I have spent so much time into this book trying to get together and give you an analogy of things, why we are where we are today in our American history. This book takes you back all the way back almost 50 years, over 50 years, and shows you how that the progressive, how progressive we've been in going away from the principles and values of the Judeo-Christian principles that we have, and um, or we're supposed to have. And as you look at the, as you look at the place today, you look at the world today, and you think about. Uh, you think about Hillary Clinton that's running and you watch the news and you see who she hangs with. You see what her uh, what her goals are. Folks, uh, we are we're on a downward trend. Uh, President Obama has has taken us a long ways away from where we were. And now we've got Hillary Clinton and that people are looking up to her because she's the first woman. Uh, for president, I'm not against a woman being the president of the United States, but I'm against Hillary Clinton being president of the United States. Her morals, her values, her everything that she stands for is nothing that this country stands for. And it goes all the way back to the Vietnam War. It goes all the way back to her, what she did during the Vietnam War, her and Bill Clinton. And I talk a little bit about that in this book, about how that from the Vietnam War to the present day, we have been on the downward trend. Uh, and that is in morals, not only in morals, but also in uh, our relationship with other countries, how we uh, how we fight, the, how we fight in the military. Uh, we've surrendered more than we've taken, folks. And uh, right now with ISIS and with what's taking place in Iran and what uh, Russia is doing, uh, folks, I'm telling you something. Uh, we need to be aware. We need to wake up, America. I'm just an old country boy that's worked hard all my life. Um, I, I haven't got where I've got easy. I mean, it's been it's been a tough road down the way. I mean, uh, going to school and pastoring churches and working and doing all that I've done. I'm just an average Joe, but I love my country. I fought for my country in Vietnam, and I believe that uh, I believe that uh, we we have to stand up uh, for our country. I, uh, if we don't have people standing up for it, what are we going to do? And that's what this book is all about. And I hope that you will uh, go into Amazon.com and uh, just click my name, David N. Smeltz, and you'll pick up this book, The Strangling of American Liberty. The Strangling of American Liberty. Folks, please do that. And I hope that you won't uh, look at me tonight because I got a stubble face and I'm sitting here with a T-shirt on. But it's 11.15 at night, and I just felt that I wanted to come to you just as realistic as I can to let you know that uh, I love my country. I love God. I love him with all my heart and soul and mind. And, and I know that there are many of you that love this country. And I know there are many of you out there, too, that loves God. Let's stand together. Let's work together. Let's pray together. Let's believe that God can help us in this time as we cry out to him, a nation crying out to God, saying, God, help us. Don't let us fall down. Don't let us do as Rome did. Help us to stand. Thank you, folks. God bless you and have a wonderful night.